General Prayut Chan Ocha, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand, Professor Narapon Chan Ocha, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with much pleasure that I welcome Prime Minister Prayut, Professor Narapon, and your distinguished delegation to Singapore. We had a good meeting at the Leaders' Retreat this afternoon, and then we witnessed the signing of a revised avoidance of double taxation agreement and three MOUs to expand cooperation in the cruise tourism industry, to develop the creative content industry, and to strengthen collaboration between our respective business federations. Thailand and Singapore share close historical ties. There's a bronze elephant statue at the old Singapore Parliament House that symbolizes our long-standing friendship. It was a gift from His Majesty King Chula Longkorn to commemorate his visit to Singapore in 1871, which was also his inaugural overseas visit. And incidentally, King Chula Longkorn stayed in this building during that visit. The building was then known as the Government House. Now we call it the Istana. And the king developed such a liking for Singapore that he, brought, that he bought a house a mansion at Orchard Road called Hurricane House to stay in whenever he was in Singapore. And today, the iconic Royal Thai Embassy along Orchard Road stands on the property which King Chulalongkorn bought. And that is also another enduring reminder of the historical ties and friendship between our two countries. These strong ties continue to grow into the present day. I have been honored to host Her Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Sirin Dawn on many occasions over the past few years. And last year, we hosted her to lunch here and served her one of her favorite Singapore dishes, Hainanese chicken rice. We've also hosted Her Royal Highness Princess Mahidol in January last year under the Lee Kuan Yew Exchange Fellowship. So, Prime Minister, your visit to Singapore is a very timely one because our two countries celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations this year. And the visit reminds us of the road that our two nations have traveled together. Because Thailand was one of the first countries to establish diplomatic relations with Singapore in September 1965, about a month after our independence. And this is a friendship which has held steady through many difficult times, including during the tumultuous decade of the 1970s and 1980s, during the Vietnam War, during the Indo Second Indo-Chinese War. And then, as we work together as founding members of ASEAN to promote regional peace and stability. Today, we continue our close cooperation in many areas. Our economic ties are strong, Bilateral trade has grown steadily and now is about 30 billion Sing dollars a year. And Singapore was Thailand's second largest investor. And it is a top investor from ASEAN into Thailand for the last few years. I hope we will do more and I hope our companies will find fresh opportunities to invest and to work with one another. We also cooperate closely in defense. Our militaries train together. We have a well-established working relationship. I'd like to thank the Prime Minister for the generosity of the Thai hosts who have hosted our troops and Air Force units and enabled them to train in Thailand for many years. I remember I visited Sayok Camp in Kanchanaburi in 1982 as a young officer before it was built. I haven't been back since, but I'm grateful that for the past 30 plus years, you have been excellent hosts, and I hope that our soldiers have been good guests. Our civil services also hold exchanges with each other through the Thai-Singapore Civil Service Exchange Program. We also work well in regional and international fora. And these good ties are not just between the two governments, but also between our two peoples. Many Thais visit Singapore, over half a million last year, and many Singaporeans visit Thailand, even more, 800,000 last year. 
And since it's now school holidays, I think there must be thousands of families holidaying in Thailand right now. They go to Bangkok for shopping. They go to Koh Samui and Phuket for the beautiful beaches. They go to Chiang Rai for elephant rides and jungle trekking. It's very convenient because the two countries are highly connected. There are lots of low-cost carriers and we have direct flights to six Thai cities. And when I have a chance, I am looking forward to trying one of these LCCs to Krabi. Or maybe I will take a cruise with my wife from Singapore to Thailand and stop at different towns along the way to take in the beautiful sights and sounds of Thailand. The Thai community here has made significant contributions to Singapore. And, of course, many Singaporeans love Thai food. And Thai fruits and vegetables are very popular. And one of the most successful events which the ambassador organizes every year is a Thai festival. And I hear that this year, the embassy plans to celebrate SG50 with us by organizing a jazz concert at the Gardens by the Bay. The ongoing SEA Games is also a good platform for our athletes and supporters to get to know one another. Thailand always does very well in the SEA Games. Already it's won many gold medals, including canoeing, judo, patank, and shooting. And your football team won yesterday's match against Vietnam to top your group and enter the semi-finals. And I'm sure that at the end of the Games, we will see Thailand high up in the medal tally. I understand that Your Excellency is attending a SEA Games match tomorrow. I wish Thailand every success. Unless, of course, you're playing against Singapore. <laughs> so Your Excellency and Professor Narapon will be visiting the Singapore Botanical Gardens tomorrow. And we will have an orchid named after you, the Dendrobium Prayut Narapon Chan Ocha. It's a vigorous and free-flowering orchid hybrid I saw a photograph of it, I think it's a good purple Thai colour. And it symbolises the relationship between Singapore and Thailand, a relationship that keeps growing and blooming. And I hope when you see the orchid, you will like the orchid. So distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite you to rise and join me in a toast to the good health of His Majesty, King Bumipon Aduliayet and Her Majesty Queen Sirikit, the peace and prosperity of Thailand, and the continued friendship between our two countries. Cheers. <laughs>